Hello kids, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read a story. The Knight Who Was Afraid of the Dark. Let's get started. Once long ago, in a time known as the Dark Ages, there lived a bold and a much loved knight. He was called Sir Fred. He drove monsters out of the moat. He chased the dishonest merchants out of town and saved the fair lady Vandalin from a hideous ten-headed dragon. There was only one crack in Sir Fred's armor. Sir Fred was afraid, knee bumping, heart thumping, afraid of the dark. He was afraid of the dark of the moon, the dark at the top of the steep stone stairs, the dark at the bottom of the big brass bed, and the dark between the head hole and the arm hole when he put on his armor. Because he was afraid, Sir Fred kept his bed chamber bright with candles. He kept a bottle of fireflies on his night table and slept with his pet electric eel, whom he took with him if and when he had to get up to go to the bathroom. Sir Fred was also afraid of being found out. Indeed, there was one who suspected. That one was the castle bully, Melvin the Mift. Melvin the Mift couldn't stand Sir Fred because he was better loved, especially by Lady Vandalin. Melvin the Mift stopped the castle corridors, sneaking and peeking speaking and trying to find the crack in Sir Fred's armor. Melvin the Mift observed that Sir Fred did all his brave deeds in broad daylight. All the other knights liked the cover of darkness. He also saw that Sir Fred was the only knight who did not or under the round table during thunder and lightning storms. Indeed, the bolder the bold, the better. Moreover, he observed that Sir Fred only met Lady Vandalin on nights when the moon was full, which was why they seldom saw each other and why Lady Vandalin began to wonder if she was truly Sir Fred's true love. Things came to a head one dark day when Melvin the Mift sneaked up and peeked at a letter Lady Vandalin was reading. If your true love truly wanted to see you, Melvin the Mift whispered, he wouldn't make up silly excuses no too. With good point, Lady Vandalin said, tossing her curls and stamping her foot. That afternoon, Lady Vandalin embroidered a banner and hung it out of her window. Sir Fred saw the banner and sank into deep despair. The evening sky was exceedingly dark and the moon was thin as a mouse whisker. Sir Fred pumped his pillow and hemmed and hawed Oh, ho, oh, whoa, shall I stay or shall I go? If I don't go, I will lose my lady love because she will think I don't love her. If I do go, I will lose my lady love because she will think I am scared of the dark which I am. In the end, Sir Fred went. His fear was big, but so was his love. He went armed with a fistful of fireflies, a glowworm studded shield, and his faithful electric eel wound around his arm. Lady Madeline was waiting by the fountain with her eyes tightly closed. At the stroke of midnight, she opened them and shrieked, Eek! As she shrieked, she grabbed Sir Fred's hands, 
released the fireflies, flung the shield to the ground, and tweaked the electric eel's tail light, leaving Sarfad terrified in total darkness. Eek! Get off my true love, lady, Vandalin shrieked again as she flicked a last lingering firefly from Sarfad's sleeve. To tell the truth, she then said, I'm terrified of bugs and all slivery things that that creep and crawl. Sir Ferdinand did his bravest deed. He told Lady Vandalin the truth about himself. And he admitted, afraid of the dark, me bumping, hard thumping afraid of the dark. Then you are even braver than I thought, Lady Vandalin said, flinging her arms around Sir Fred because you met me anyway and you are brave as well as beautiful sir fred said with a kiss because you tried to protect me malvin the nift was still sneaking and peeking around he saw the loving scene and snorted how sickening then he stamped his feet and stalked off forever nobody saw him leave Lady Vandalin was too busy petting Sir Fred's electric eel and saying, Hmm, he is not as scary as I thought. Meanwhile, Sir Fred was clutching his true love and telling her, Hmm, the dog's not so scary either with someone. Thank you for listening.